Last week I made a video detailing five reasons why I believe PC gaming is better than console gaming. Yeah, I upset a handful of people. As expected, that's how gamers are. We're passionate, we get defensive, perfectly normal. But as promised, today's video is all about five reasons why console gaming is better than PC gaming. You heard me, let's talk about it. Hello guys, who are you? My name is David Franco. Hello guys, who are you? I think he's trying to say, how are you? My name is it's TUF. From davidstwitch.com. Right there, follow me. I oh, we're self-promoting, are we? Okay then, subscribe, leave a like, follow me on Twitter. Every single day, but Sunday. Sunday is the day of the Maui. Let us pray. Nah. 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 Seriously though, let's talk about five reasons why I believe console gaming is better than PC gaming. Now, first of all, let me make this clear. I love my PC. I play my PC so much more than I do my consoles, so I'm not playing favorites. If you weren't playing favorites, you wouldn't be making this video because there are no advantages to console versus the PC. I'm not one of those gamers who says, PC Master Race, console Master Race, because I have to feel huge. I have to feel... I had to feel good about myself. I had to feel insecure in a way. <laughs> That's what Master Race is to me, insecurity. Sorry guys, that is not me at all. I'm just the kind of gamer who plays anything and plays everything, and that's how everybody should be. But for today's video, let's focus on console gaming, starting out with number one. It just works. PC gaming also works. It works better. I don't think anybody in their right mind can argue this. As much as I love my PC, and I'm sure my friends can back me up and my chat room can back me up. <sighs> PC gaming can be a huge pain in the ass sometimes. It really can. Drivers aren't updated. You can get drivers to update automatically and they let you know when they aren't updated and you don't even have to update them. I have uh, an Nvidia card and I always update it whenever it has to update and it literally takes less than a minute to download. Your hardware is incompatible. If your hardware is incompatible, you didn't put in enough research. You can use websites like PC Part Picker to see if parts are compatible or not. Software that was working yesterday is suddenly running like shit today. That's never happened to me before. But with consoles, you literally just put that little round object in, you know, the little disc, or maybe you can download it, and the game loads. Sure, there might be like a day one patch or whatever, but that's perfectly normal. But my point is, console gaming, it just works. Does console gaming work though? I mean, I had an Xbox 360 back when I was a console player and I got the Red Ring of Death every now and then. Uh, my dad's Xbox One broke recently. My Wii U gamepad broke recently. If anything, consoles don't work anywhere near as good as PCs do. You sit down on your couch and you enjoy your game. How many times have you seen me on Twitch get frustrated over a sudden frames per second drop? Because again, like last week, maybe something like Overwatch was streaming just fine, but this week, I'm getting like 15 frames per second on stream. Then lower your settings. Also in a why console gaming is better than PC video, you shouldn't really bring up frame rate. I'd rather have an unstable 144 frames per second than a stable 30 frames per second. It doesn't make sense. You're right, it doesn't make sense. It's almost like you're making it up. And that's easily my least favorite thing about PC gaming, is that the experience is very, very fragmented. Number two, exclusives are everything. Really? 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 That is a lot of flashing. I have a tendency to switch between cameras on Siege. I freaking love Siege, guys. Siege is such a good game. Anyway, exclusives are everything, and sometimes PC users are left out. Grand Theft Auto V, anyone? It took, what, like a year or two to come out on PC? Red Dead Redemption 2, there's really no signs of a PC release coming out anytime soon. 
We've got the Xbox exclusives, which are mostly on PC, but there's some games that we miss out on. I'd rather miss out on a few games than whole genres. Obviously, the Switch has its own category of games. The PC, mark my words, will never ever see official releases of games like Super Mario Brothers or uh, Yoshi's Crafted World coming out in a few weeks on the Switch or Pokemon games or whatever. It's just never going to happen. And then, of course, on the PlayStation side, we've got games like Spider-Man and, and God of War and The Last of Us, anyone? The Last of Us is just an incredible experience all around, and you're never, ever going to see that on PC. So, yeah, I mean, if you're only playing on PC, you're going to miss out on some truly remarkable experiences on console. I'm going to say it again, play anything and play everything. Consoles don't get a ton of genres that PC does, such as MMOs, simply due to either indie developers not wanting to port their games to console, a lack of buttons, there are a ton of things, Xbox, Mic well, Microsoft and Sony uh, charging people to upload games to their platform, for starters. Don't limit yourself. Number three. Multiplayer games, I just have my notes right here, multiplayer games have a longer lifespan on console than they do on PC. Cool, where's the proof? For the most part. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, anyone? Bad game, got any more? Blackout has been slowly dying on PC, even, even with this week's big grand heist update that finally released on PC, first on PS4 last week, uh, but the PC player base is just dwindling like crazy. Do you have any sources to back up your claim? Sure, an update here and there, I might see a little spike, but even the um, optimistic side of me says, nope, that spike's gonna quickly drop down again, and Blackout is kind of a dead game. Personally, I think it's more fun than Apex sometimes, but that's just me, I just, I just think the movement system's better, the guns are better in Blackout, but then again, Apex is more unique because of the respawn system, but I guess that's why we have the choice, right? You literally just answered your own question. Why isn't there as many players on PC? It's because we have more options. We have more games, better games. If you get bored of a game, you can go somewhere else. On consoles, there are very... It's a very limited library. So you normally have to stick to a few games, especially because games literally cost £60 pounds or dollars on the consoles. It's a lot harder to find active multiplayer games on PC than it is console. I guarantee you, if you launch Blackout on PS4 or Xbox today, instantly, instantly, you're gonna drop into a full lobby. For the most part. That's actually not possible because consoles actually limit your internet speed, so it's always gonna take a little while to actually connect into a server. Just another disadvantage to consoles right there. But on PC, yesterday I was just playing Blackout, and I believe our game started at what, like 68 players max? Sad moment, sad moment. But then again, with games like Siege and Battlefield, I think the PC community kind of favors games like that, uh, or those rather, over console players. So it easily goes both ways. It just kind of depends on where the player base is and which platform you prefer. But keyboard and mouse, I cannot picture myself playing Blackout on a controller. I just can't. So you're just saying that you would rather play Blackout on a console because there are actually people playing on the console. But then you say you can't imagine using a controller. You literally just gave another point to the PC side that keyboard and mouse is way better. Number four, the home theater experience. You just can't beat it. This is something I miss all the time. All the time when I'm PC gaming is that I just don't have that home theater experience that I used to have. And yeah, I have my basement, which is still a work in progress. And yeah, eventually I will play huge, huge releases down there. Like, you know, The Last of Us Part 2 and whatever. And maybe even Crackdown 3. I don't know. Apparently that game is huge. I, I, I know nothing about Crackdown. But still, the point stands. Uh, you just cannot beat that home theater experience. And please don't even tell me, David, but you have surround sound on your headphones. No. No, 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 no. Nothing beats the experience of sitting down on a comfy couch having a 65-inch 4K TV in front of you, two Polk Audio tower speakers, a Polk Audio center channel, and your rear speakers behind you with dual subwoofers, a nice receiver. That right there is the ultimate gaming experience. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you, but what's stopping you from doing this on your PC? I personally use my PC on the desk, but I have friends who use their computers on their 
sofas they chill in their living room they have this like little table thing which like go like extends from the sofa arm so they can put their keyboard and mouse on this little table thing so they don't have to like use a table or anything they have this little built-in thing which it only cost them like five pounds on amazon and they can play comfortably on their sofas but david you can play pc on tv yeah you can but I strongly believe PCs belong on a desk. PCs do not, I repeat, do not belong in the living room. It's just not a seamless experience. Even with like the Steam Big Picture experience or whatever it's called, or the Steam controller. You don't need to use a Steam controller. You can use any controller on the PC. You don't even have to use a controller. You can use keyboard and mouse. You can use like steering wheels. You can use VR on some games. You can use Xbox One controller, Xbox 360 controller, PS4 controller, uh, GameCube controller, Nintendo Entertainment System controller. You can literally use a joystick, for like an arcade joystick. Consoles, you're limited to what? The color of your controller? I strongly believe, guys, like, PCs do not belong in the living room. Okay, PCs don't belong in the living room. Tell us why. It's just a very fragmented experience having the keyboard and mouse in your, um, your uh, lap or your coffee table or whatever. It's just not the same. PCs in the office, on the desk, your gaming room or whatever. Consoles on the couch. That's how it's always going to be with me. I will never, ever have a gaming PC hooked up to my TV. You will never have one hooked up to your TV. Why? I want you to tell me why. You say that it's so much better to be on the sofa with a TV with surround sound speakers. Why can't you do that with your PC? You're just saying that you can't. Why can't you? Why is this so hard to explain? Ever. At least for like a gaming experience. I've had it hooked up to my Samsung TV, but only for the chat room. And that's because my last bedroom was very small compared to this bedroom. Technically, it's a bedroom. I don't use it as a bedroom. But yes, there you go. Home theater experience. You just can't beat it. And please, hold your negative comments if you never played a game with surround sound. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. It truly is that much better. I don't have to play a game with surround sound to know that this point is invalid. I have never used surround sound. I've I've briefly used it at friends' houses, but I don't use it personally. I will hopefully get a surround sound headset at some point, but honestly, I don't it's nice, but it's not you're acting like it's a game changer. And number 5, local multiplayer. Okay. Multiplayer, the thing that consoles don't really do anymore. Land parties on PC are fun, but they require a ton of work. What do you mean, LAN parties? You don't... You, your computer has internet connection, you know. Why do you need to... What? I'm gonna say it again. Nothing beats the experience of sitting down on a couch, but with friends. How many times have you played... Melee, you know, Super Smash Brothers Melee or Mario Kart or the good old days of GoldenEye and Perfect Dark with friends. I actually play Smash Bros. Melee with my friends on an emulator called Dolphin all the time. We don't have to be with each other. I play with my online friends from across the globe. We play Melee on Dolphin together because emulators. We don't have to buy plane tickets or whatever just to play Smash Bros. together. We can do it across the internet now. Thanks to PC. Those right there were the good old days. Now, do I miss them? Of course, here and there. But I'm perfectly fine with playing games on PC with my friends on Discord and chatting in my chat room over here. It's an experience that really is incredible. But part of me really does miss that local multiplayer experience that you just can't get on PC. Unless, again, you set up a LAN party, which requires a ton of work. Okay, you're talking about the only way to play games locally on the PCs to set up LAN parties. But you can- some games on the PC are split-screen. You can play split-screen on the PC. 
there would be more split screen games if they were actually in demand, but they're not. Split screen's kind of dying. Xbox One, PS4, they don't really have many split screen games anymore, simply because nobody really cares anymore. If people did want split screen games, I'm sure developers of the PC would add it, but no one really wants them, so they're not going to bother adding them. And yes, I've been to a few LAN parties. It's a ton of fun. But I haven't been to a LAN party in years, and I don't see myself being back at one for a very long time, or if ever. Hopefully, but I just don't see it happening anytime soon. So guys, there you have it. Those are my five reasons why I believe console gaming is better than PC gaming. And I'm going to do a quick recap in case you skipped around on the video. No Oh boy, that was a train wreck. Um, thank you all for watching. I've been tough, and I'll see you all later.